to this video on Adobe Spark. My name is Amy Heil and I am a digital learning coach in Georgetown ISD. Today I will show you how to set up your Adobe Spark classroom so that your students can join using a class code. So let's get started. First thing is you need to go to adobe.com slash education slash express. Once you're at this website, you're going to click on the blue Get Started Now button. At this point, you're going to click on the blue button under Use Spark Classroom Accounts. Once this screen pops up, you are going to enter your GISD email address. and you're going to come to a screen that says that your email is supported. At this screen, you're going to click Continue with Google. And since we are using a Georgetown Gmail account, uh, you're going to click the Enterprise ID button. This next screen asks you to select a profile to sign in. You are going to choose the classroom account Georgetown ISD profile. This is now going to open up to your classroom manager. Your classroom manager is where you can create new classrooms and see the different work that your students are doing within your courses. I have already created one course that you can see here in my classroom manager. So I'm going to demonstrate how you would create a new classroom. To do that, you'll click on the blue plus sign, and you are now going to fill out your classroom information. So this will be a technology applications course. I'm going to select my subject. My grade level is going to be eighth grade. And since this is a different grade level, I'm going to choose a different color for this course. I'm going to choose the green color. You have some different color code options here, and you're able to color code your classes in any way that you see best. You can code by grade level or by class period. That's totally up to you. I'm going to put in that this will be period number two and now I'm going to create my classroom. And now it's going to give me a screen with my join code for my students. If you click on this button here, it will enlarge that code, which makes it nice if you are going to display this for your students. You also have the option of sharing this link with your students. They can go to this link and join that way. I'm going to click the View Classroom Manager button again. And now this takes me directly into the course that I just made. You can see it's grade eight and it's period two and it's color coded green. Over here on the right side, you see the class code along with the link. This will always live over here on this side of your screen, which is nice. So if you have students join your class at a later date, it's easy for you to get this code for them. I'm going to click back on this View All Classrooms button. And now you can see both of my courses. I have my Technology Applications Grade 7, Period 1, and my Technology Applications Grade 8, Period 2. I'm going to open up my Grade 7 course, and you can see in here it has my name listed. But then under here, it says active students. So I have one student who is active in this class. And over here on the far right, I have these three dots, which gives me some options. I can view the student's projects. I can block or remove the student. Let's go into view projects. So this is going to open onto a screen where I can see the projects that this student is working on. So currently she is working on one project. I can click on it to view it in greater detail. So I can see very closely what that student has been working on. As my students create more and more projects, those projects will start to add up on this dashboard and I will see them as they create more 
themes. I hope you found this video helpful and have fun sparking your creativity in Adobe Spark.